Tim Westmoto. Let's go have some fun. And then we do it again. All right, we are here at round nine of the VCHSS 2018 Blue Ridge 2. Now, if you guys saw the previous video, part one of this, you understand it rained a whole lot last night, yesterday, and a little bit this morning. So I'm kind of concerned and I'm a little interested on how this trail is going to be, how muddy it's going to be, what the hills are going to be like, and how everyone is going to do. Because it's not just me out there racing, it's not just my class. There's classes in front of us and there's classes behind us. So the classes in front of us do extremely terrible going up and down these hills and these hill, hill climbs we're all going to get stuck and it's going to be a mess but it's going to be awesome that's what i'm excited about right now there's four of us going up to the starting line of the gray bush motor squad now for those of you that don't know the gray bush motor squad averages you know, two to three to five to ten to however many of us can make it out to the race we're always supporting each other we have guys that race in the a class the b class a lot of us race in the c class like myself because i'm not a professional and we are always at a VCHSS race or a VXCS or any other kind of series. And just like everybody else out here, ready to race, we're here to have a good time. Now, I'm very fortunate, but unfortunate, that this guy pointed out I was leaking antifreeze. And when I saw it, I noticed the bike started to smoke a little bit. I'm at the starting line. People are lined up in the ditch. They're taking off. The bike is still smoking because I'm overheating. I don't know why. And right now, I really don't have time to really to honestly care. I'm in the race, and I'm going through it. Whether I blow the bike up or not, I can rebuild it. And honestly, when you're this close on the starting line of your class taking off, and it's a ditch start, and I've never been to Blue Ridge before, and this whole everything is going on, your adrenaline pumping, the last thing on your mind is, all right, my bike's smoking, I might blow it up. Okay, big deal. Let's see what happens. Obviously, I didn't have too great of a start there. I'm not sure if it was the ditch or the bike or or just it was probably just me getting in my own way, trying to kick the bike and, and, and get a decent start. I messed it all up and that was just the beginning. Now before I came up to the starting line, I didn't put it in the video, but I actually adjusted my front suspension a little bit uh, with the clicks and a flathead screwdriver. And I will never do that again because it felt, the whole entire race felt off for some reason. It felt like I was pulling. It could have been just the mud, it could have been me. I'm really not sure what was going on, but I did not feel as comfortable, especially in this spot right here. I was looking to make a sharp left right there in the scoring to start the first lap and was redirected and I'm sure I'm not the only one that went through this it confused the hell out of me so I'm like okay well we're gonna go through scoring now and then everybody's redirecting traffic nope nope you're gonna go down through here so besides all that and my bike feeling funny it could have been the mud I'm pretty sure it was just me and my terrible riding skills but <laughs> it honestly it didn't feel like it did the last race or the last few times I've taken it out and, and ridden it and I was convinced that it was whatever I did to the suspension I'll never do that again lesson learned
Now I'd mentioned that I didn't feel right going through uh, while I'm on my bike. It just felt off for some reason. And I'm not making an excuse. It just felt off. So on top of that, we have all this mud and I really didn't want to run into the guy that was in front of me. So I veered off to the left a little bit and got stuck. So it started to overheat even more. Climbed off of it, decided I would try and throttle out while I'm pushing it. Came off to the side to get a little more traction and ended up getting uh, in a pretty terrible situation. Luckily, this guy up here to the right on the trials bike I had met on, uh, the previous day with a group of riders. Came down, saw I was in trouble, helped push me up out of my rut, um, which he didn't have to do. I really appreciate this. I hope I can see you at the next race, man, so I can shake your hand and thank you for getting me up off this hill so I can at least place somewhat decent in my class. I don't know how many of you guys has ever been stuck on a hill like that, struggling through it, but it wears you out. So I stopped for a second. I wanted to, to turn around and wave to the guy and say thanks. I didn't see him. Uh, I needed to catch my breath, and I was basically exhausted. I was tired, and this is barely the first lap. I got two more laps to go. So the rest of the lap, I'm sliding all over the place. I'm trying to make it through these, uh, these hills and make something out of this race even though I'm basically done. I'm tired. I was frustrated. My class had already passed me. Class behind me. Class behind them. Everybody's passed me. I didn't know what I was placing. I'm pretty sure I'm dead last. And that was irritating to me, but then I had to kind of remind myself that it's just a race. There's plenty more. And even though we run into situations like this a lot on the first lap. <laughs> I'm not the only one that's out here struggling having kind of a, a terrible race, so it, it doesn't make you feel better, but it makes you feel like at least you're not the only one, you know, and, and we'll see what we can make out of it. One thing that is extremely unnoticeable is the incline of these hills. They're extremely steep and they're muddy and they're slippery and they're are they're hard to get through coming through scoring seeing as my first lap was just wonderful I actually first time I've ever in the entire time I've, I've raced these bikes I've ever just uh, thought maybe I should stop and as soon as I went through scoring I was like you know what you can't quit now come on so there's literally no way that I could have actually pulled off and stopped I cannot do that I have to see the checkered flag I've got to make it through it whether I wreck 200 more times whether I'm stopping whether my bike blows up if it blows up I'll push it through the finish line with the marshals <laughs> as much as they're going to love that. I actually felt like I'd gotten a second win. I felt a whole lot better on this lap. I wanted to try a bunch of different lines. I wanted to try different techniques of getting up the hill. I knew I wasn't going to place well in my class because so many people had passed me on the first lap getting stuck on the hill. Uh, I really just wanted to try and figure out what I could do different uh, for next season.
I'm going to give definite mad props to the A-class riders and the B-class riders that went through this in the pouring rain uh, after our race. It started pouring its tail off, and these guys went 14 miles. This lap is 8 miles. They went 14 in, in the pouring down rain. I don't know how they did it. I don't know how they survived through all that. I know uh, my buddy Darren's uh, racing in the main, and he made, I think he placed uh, seventh, I believe seventh or, or something like that. It's unbelievable. I, I'm having a tough time, and there's no rain. It's just mud. These guys are awesome. Maybe one day I get there. I'm feeling pretty good coming up this hill. I got a decent momentum, and I'm ready to catch the checkered flag. Then I run into a little bit of a, a problem. This guy here on the left is waving me down. It's unfortunate, but it happens a lot. There's a wreck, there's blocking traffic. You just gotta wait it out or you can jump off your bike and help. Make sure the guys are okay. Move on with the rest of your race. Finally made it. Luckily, we were able to do two laps. Um, I came in 16th out of I think 19 or 20, which, given the situations that I ran into on the first lap, I was impressed with. I wasn't necessarily proud because nobody's proud to come in the bottom of the pack. But finished the race. We did pretty good. I need to tear apart my suspension, check it all out, and maybe tweak it a little bit more before I go out to the next race. Right now, uh, from checking, I'm sitting 17th out of 42, I believe. I may be wrong, it, it hasn't changed since this race because there hasn't been another race. Uh, but 42 or 43 uh, out of my class. I'm not sure what I, I'm placing overall in the VCHSS because I don't pay attention to that. I just mainly focus on my class. So pulling up to the truck. We meet up with Randall. Randall plays second in our class. He's in the same class as I am. Awesome job. Uh, there. I don't know how the hell he did that. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, say hey, leave a comment. I'll respond. I hope to see you guys at the next race. I'm Tim Westmoto, and I'll see you on the starting line.